Last things I bought on Amazon were school supplies for my daughter. Brandy Melville's and uh, notebooks and pencil cases and whatnot. What? Oh yeah, alarm clocks. Yeah. Yeah, I keep bees, I have hives, I have lots of bees. You know, to be honest, I've been working so much that I'm not doing much of attending to the bees myself, but I love the bees, and I wish that I had more hives and more bees. I do feel a slight tinge of guilt every time I raid them for their honey. I decided to write it three or four years ago, and the process was a very interior process, a very, you know, a journey of self-discovery. A process of falling in love with writing, with the written word, with the organization of word, with the color and shape of words, with the way they bounce off the page, with, you know, honesty and artistic ambition. In starting the Silver Lake Conservatory of Music, um, which is a nonprofit music school in Los Angeles, um, it was never my intention to give back or, I don't think of it like that, I just think about doing the right thing, doing the things that make me happy. You know, it's kind of selfish too, in the, the process of giving and helping is where the greatest happiness for me is personally, because I derive great, profound joy from seeing children learning and, and growing and have an opportunity to, to sing the song within them and find their voice, whether it's with music or with anything that they do, opening up the, the music as a conduit for them to uh, see themselves and see the beauty in their highest selves. Well, my goal in life is to use my voice to serve the good of all human beings, of the environment, of everybody around me, that all my words, all my actions um, serve love and serve humanity. Uh, that's how I use my voice.